Okay, hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet Designs. My name is Mary, coming to you with our midweek live and all the camera has moved all over the place. Make sure guys that you pop your live chat or all chat and not just a top chat. And hello Middle Earthians, we're at 24-1. Yes, we are. 24,100 subscribers. Keep that in mind guys because once we hit our 25... <laughs> It's surprise time. <laughs> Don't you love it? Surprise time. Not yet. Not yet. We're very close. Very, very close. All right. Welcome again for uh, one of our lives. We have lives twice a week. We have a midweek live at 4 p.m. Melbourne, Australia time. Marry that up with your country. And also one at 10 a.m. Melbourne, Australia time. Again, marry that up with your country. Beautiful Karen is in the house. Hi, Karen. Lovely to have you here. Lovely Middle Earthians is here as well. We already have quite a few people coming in nice and slowly. Uh, and at 12 a.m. where you are. So I can say that it's officially 12, 24 hours to your birthday. We'll have to sing happy birthday in a minute because I don't think we're going to be able to make it Saturday. Look, I'll, I've put myself up for coming on Saturday's live, but one never knows. It is in the middle of Easter. <laughs> I'm going to say yes, we're on Saturday's live, but we'll do your birthday song in just a moment, middle. Oh, isn't that exciting? Oh, you're going to have two weeks of just relaxing. Don't worry about anybody else. Just enjoy you. Just enjoy your birthday. See, like I always say two weeks, but it's almost a month. <laughs> When I celebrate my birthday, beautiful Sherry B, Kathy, hello, hello, big capital letters. She's saying hello really loud. <laughs> She's shouting hello to us. <laughs> welcome, 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 guys. We have a few things we'd like to talk about today. Not a lot, but just a few things just to keep you up to date with what's happening over the Easter break. Oh, it's coming up, guys, a couple of days' time. It'll be Easter. Very exciting. Uh, my Saturday Live won't be on, and I'm already doing my birthday week right now. Good on you, middle. <laughs> Works well, because I won't be able to make your Saturday Live, because your Saturday Live is my Sunday morning, and that's Easter Sunday. So I'll be too busy cooking and carrying on for family. <laughs> so I won't be able to make it. <clears throat> Karen says, I'm crocheting today. Well, I love you today <laughs> because you're crocheting, darling. I love you. Um, uh, yes, you're so excited, are you, Cherry B? Yay, I'm so excited to have you here with us. We do have a lot of fun on our lives, guys. Sometimes we have too much fun, but we won't talk about that. Um, I didn't think I'd be on time as I was finishing my fourth movie of the marathon. I know, Middle, you did say you were going to have a marathon, didn't you? <laughs> Beautiful Raylene is in the house. Lovely to have you here. Raylene is in the house. Now, okay, guys, we don't look like we have a very big live today, but I'm just going to waste a little bit of time pretending that nothing is happening. <laughs> you almost forgot, Sherry B, you forgot about us. You'll make me cry. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Uh, I may do the Easter project tomorrow for my end. Uh, not my pattern, so no video, lol. That's all right. Just something, at least you're putting it up on social media and you're sharing it about. That's what you need to do. Get your um, face out there and about. That's pretty much what you, you kind of have to do. When it comes to this, you kind of have to do that, yeah? All right, so we're going to talk real quickly about what's been happening over the past week. Now, what have I done? <laughs> nothing she says uh i could never forget you mate. oh cherry b kathy so beautiful a lovely mary j lovely to have you here um uh, just quick heads up guys i am going to try and make saturday mornings live okay i'd like to be able to do it i'd like to be able to do a live antics as well that's considering no major drama happens during easter <laughs> Don't you love it? Oh, hello, wow, says Fluffy. Lovely to have you here, Fluffs. Lovely to have you here in the house with me. It's actually quite warm at the moment. I don't know if it's because I went out Easter shopping <laughs> and bought 2,555,023 eggs. Saturating <laughs> by a few million, of course. And I was running around at the shops thinking, I'm going to run out of time. I'm going to run out of time. I'm going to run. And I didn't. I still got home an hour early to get the live ready. 
<laughs> but I made myself all fluster. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have a drink. Cheers, everyone. Mm. All right. So let's talk about what we did this week. Uh, Monday was supposed to have been the Easter bag. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, didn't get that up Monday. I ended up doing some pattern writing instead because that's my usual day and I just got distracted. <laughs> Don't you love it? And I got it up on Tuesday during the day at some stage. So that's up and running. Today's obviously our live looking down at my book because uh, let me show you the Easter gear first. I think that's a really good thing. And then we're going to talk about what we're doing tomorrow. Um, it may not appeal to everyone, but it's a it's an item that we are supposed to be doing in reference to our past um, items. Now, uh, the bag is so cute, I know, and actually it would have been better, better for me not to have put the white rim on the ear of the bunny because the white is causing the ears to come down and flip the wrong way. But look at that, and the little pom-pom. I did such a bad job at the pom-pom that I put it on fast motion. Just so you knew you, you could do one, but don't follow mine. <laughs> Well, you could, but my pom look, one here goes flops and one here stays up. How do you like that? Now, this guy here, I ended up doing the ears the same as that, but I did them on the piece and I didn't like the way one came one way, one went the other, and it was just awkward. Now, your ears would be closer. The ear, Your ears will be closer. Mine are a little bit too far apart. It's kind of a little bit better if the ears are closer. Some of the eggs are missing. Wasn't me. It wasn't me. It's got a little lisp mouth, wasn't me. When I turn into a child, <laughs> a little lisp happens. Um, but some of them, and I had to refill them. It wasn't me. <laughs> Don't tell my personal trainer. She'll, she'll like scream at me. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't. Oh, okay, it was. But don't tell anyone. Um, <laughs> I started my new pattern without writing it out. Oops, that's what happens, doesn't it? Middle when you get too excited. Um, uh, cute, you made one, two to go. You already done one. Just you're quick. You're quicker than I am. It took me forever to do those. Mind you, I did stop start. I did other things in between. Uh, I think it'd be cute with the ears like that. Oh, you like that? Okay, okay, that's fine. If you like it, that's fine. <laughs> Who am I to complain, yeah? Uh, Mary, would it be weird to use a five millimeter with a two ply yarn? I've tried smaller and don't like it. Five millimeter hook with a two ply yarn. Folding them together with two pieces of thread together. Oh, you could if you want. I don't know how it would come out. It would come out big, which is fine. But I don't know how it would look. Would it be a little bit more softer and might not hold up properly? Like these kind of stand up a little bit on their own if you kind of leave them. They stand up a little. I know I've got eggs in them, but they'll stand up a little. Uh, the ice yarn looks like two-ply yarn. Okay, well, look, if you want to try, you can. I don't know how it works because I've not done it that way. Uh, so you can try. I'm not going to say don't. Take a risk. You know, I always say that middle. Take a risk. Try something. If it doesn't work, you know, not to try it again. <laughs> That's how we do it. That's how we, we make patterns. Middle, you know how it is. Uh, I think it looks cute the way it is. Thank you, middle. Uh, yes, all that candy. Not me. I This wasn't me eating it. <laughs> to be fair, that's all going. I said to my son, after the live, you can have all this. <laughs> he goes, okay, I'm patient. <laughs> so he's going to eat. Well, he probably won't eat all those. He's not, look, he's not, as, we're, neither of us, we're not really grand lovers of sweet. We don't really overdo it with sweet. Um, I think we're all kind of working on health at the moment too, which is probably a bad time around Christmases and Easter's to be working on health because <laughs> all you do is eat. Uh, so we'll see, but I won't be using them. I won't be having them. I do admit to eating these couple of these little ones, you know, a couple of these ones. <laughs> you know, in my day when I was young, you weren't allowed to have Easter eggs until Sunday. You weren't allowed to touch them until Easter Sunday. <laughs> what? Um, all right. I might have to try because I tried three millimeter, three point five millimeter. I can't see the stitches to crochet. Okay, do what you need to do. Middle, it's entirely up to you. Green isn't here, so drink up, middle. Oh, thanks, <laughs> middle. Thank you so much. Cheers, everyone. Now, the reason I wanted to talk to you guys about Thursday. Now, let me quickly talk to you about this 
uh, blanket. If you are still creating this blanket, I have to message uh, someone about the border. And I do apologise to that lovely lady. And I apologised um, earlier as well. I forgot her message. So I got so busy that she left a message about the border and how much yarn I used. I'm going to work that out after the live because I worked it out that I used 180 grams of yarn altogether. I didn't really look at how much I used for the border. So I'm going to have to play with a few stitches and do some counting and work that out for the lovely lady. But I also wanted to mention, don't let anyone eat eggs till Sunday. I know, right? Um, also wanted to mention that tomorrow, because I've been working on this piece and I'll show you in a minute, tomorrow I'm going to be uploading part 4B of the blanket. Now, you know part 4A as being joining this together and joining... Uh, and in doing the border rows, right? And let me just show you quickly, for those of you who haven't seen the blanket yet, there she sits, she's relatively big. She is humongous. Um, and so what I've been doing over the past few days, just sitting in front of the TV at night, is creating four little squares so that I can make a, a placemat for Easter. But I did the four little squares in this green. I used the green for all of it with the cream in the middle. And I'm actually, I'm lying, I've done three squares, I've got one square to go. So tomorrow I'm going to record the easy join and the easy border for those of you who are new to crochet and could not attempt this one but would like to attempt another one, you will have this look, which is very much similar to your squares, yeah? It's just, you know, missing a couple of rows, like I'm missing a couple of those sets. So you may have to do your own count in that area or go back to the old 4a all right that's why i said 4a and 4b so if i've actually relabeled 4a as 4a slash b so you know the next time which is probably tomorrow night you'll get 4b slash b which means the blanket will be done all right but that's only to show the newbies that they can do an easier join and they don't have to get all stressed with this join which was relatively um difficult it was even difficult for me a little bit more difficult for me because I struggled to fit everything in under the camera and I was knocking and a few times I'd knock the camera down and I had to start again uh delete the video and then I realized I should have kept the video because I could have used it as a blooper but anyway um and so I thought let's upload on Thursday the easier version because obviously the the those of you who are crocheting that are new to crochet have finished your squares are waiting for your version so i'm going to be uploading the easier version tomorrow it won't take me long to put these little four squares together and to give it a little border all right so keep that in mind and if you've done all your squares and you want to try the easier version because you like the look of that better by all means you can do that one as well and it's giving you an option as to whether you want to make yours uh, in the easier stitch or go ahead and use something a little bit more challenging and that's what we do here on our channel we tend to give you a few ways of doing things changing the way you see things so you don't always have to do difficult stitches if you are a professional you can go back to the basics and do some basic stitches they all look gorgeous that's all I'm saying <laughs> and that's what's happening this Thursday uh, oh I've lost all the chat as you do mm, excuse me Let's go way back, go away, go back, go back. Uh, I don't know. You don't let anyone have Easter eggs till Sunday, says Fluffy. I know, it's what we should be doing. Uh, you go cruising again next Wednesday, but fly to Sydney on Tuesday. Oh my gosh, Karen, you just have so much fun and enjoy it. That's what I say. Middle says, I didn't even get Easter chocolate. Oh, um, but it's not completely Easter yet. You mean you weren't gifted Easter chocolate or you haven't purchased Easter chocolate? Yeah uh karen green is currently on a cruise yes she is green butterfly is on a cruise having so much fun not worried about us here at wow crochet designs <laughs> good honor and in honor of green let's have a drink cheers to green <laughs> mm. have fun on your cruise <laughs> fluff is jealous i'm jealous uh raylene says enjoy your cruise oh i love your little two little ships there um <laughs> What's the other thing? That's two ships. And what's those? I can't work that out. They look like chicken legs. <laughs> they look like chicken legs, Raylene. What are they? I need glasses in here. I tell you what, I'm going to magnifying glass. 
I can see the ship, but what's the other two? <laughs> two ships and two sets of chicken wings. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. Two <laughs> chicken wings. <laughs> um, haven't purchased or been gifted. Well, it's a bit early to be gifted yet, Middle. In fact, when we were young, we didn't get any of the Easter eggs until Sunday morning. Oh, they're champagne glasses. They look like chicken legs. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I want to see them again. <laughs> they look like chicken legs. <laughs> they don't look like champagne glasses. Oh, I see. Now I can see it. <laughs> on the ship <laughs> oh that's funny <laughs> I've given them to you before how embarrassing <laughs> I thought they were chicken legs <laughs> alright stop it stop it stop it woman <laughs> let's get serious okay bring it down bring it down go back to the squares <laughs> chicken legs <laughs> oh. uh, now I'm crying <laughs> I can see how you saw. Thank you, Karen. I'm not the only one that sees chicken legs. <laughs> I thought I was the only one. Is it? <laughs> well, I've lost the I've got tears in my eyes, guys. It's a good basis for a song. Tears in my eyes, guys. Tears in my eyes. Okay, chicken legs. Let's get on with it. <laughs> the squares you see here will make a little placemat for Easter. <laughs> Especially if you're eating chicken legs. <laughs> I can just imagine Karen on a ship with some chicken legs. <laughs> Oh, come on. Let's control yourself, woman. Oh, I'm getting sore ears. <laughs> I'm laughing too hard. Don't ask me why. I've got sore ears. <laughs> Sinus, I think. I'm going to have another drink just so I can bring myself down a little bit. Cheers. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's hilarious, chicken wings. Um, all right. So let's talk about what's happened this week. Let's talk about what's going to happen next week. As you know, it's a short drink. <laughs> drink. What is in my water? Um, as you know, it's a short week <laughs> for Easter. <laughs> we have <laughs> the Easter bag we did yesterday. Then we've got the live today. We've got 4B of our blanket tomorrow, which is for the new crocheter. She's coming down, guys. She's coming down. 4B tomorrow. Easter Monday, obviously, there will be nothing because, yeah, people will be coming and going and going and coming. Um, and Easter Tuesday, I will be doing pattern writing, so no projects on, on Tuesday as well. Uh, Wednesday, we'll have our live as normal. Saturday, we'll also have our live as normal. Keep that in mind. I hope to do live antics this Saturday, so keep it in mind. Friday, the, uh, let's try that again. Thursday, the 4th of April, which is Thursday week, not tomorrow, Thursday week, I will be doing a video vlog, okay? And then on Friday, we will go back to our vest. Finally, not tomorrow, Friday. Let's try that again. Not two days time, Friday, but next week, because it'll give me, you know, a few days during the Easter break to find all the pieces. I found three pieces. One, two, and three. <laughs> now I'm going to find all the yarn. <laughs> It's all pretty much in the same box, so I think I'll be okay. Tub, try tub. Um, and the patterns, I've found two parts of the patterns. So they're around. <laughs> they are around, so keep that in mind. That Friday, the 5th of April, we will be restarting our vest. Get excited! <laughs> but Thursday, the 4th of April, we're doing a video vlog. It's an absolute must-see this video vlog. 
absolute must see. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Hi, Yvonne. Lovely to have you here. You missed out on me losing the plot, um, <laughs> as I do. Uh, tomorrow is uh, Middle's birthday. I'm about to do that now, Middle. And we're about to sing Happy Birthday to Middle. Now, just pretend that I'm Marilyn Monroe. Okay, I don't have the blonde hair or the looks or anything, really. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear middle. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Do you like the music? <laughs> That's the best music I can use right now. <laughs> Happy birthday to middle. You have a wonderful day tomorrow. Try not to have too, no, have too much fun. Just, just enjoy it. Watch all your movies and all your fancy stuff and <sighs> scoff down food. Have a nice cool drink. Bit of ice. Oh, no, because it's cold over your way. Thank you, Mary. Love it when you sing. Oh, thanks. I can't sing, though. No. I let the singing to my son. That's his domain. <laughs> Happy birthday, middle for tomorrow. Absolutely. Thank you, Raylene. Um, so there you go, guys. We're gonna we, we are going to have a busy two weeks. Even though we've got Easter in the middle, there's a lot happening. Now I know for a fact that 4B will probably go up tomorrow. Simple fact is it doesn't take long for me to do. Um, a row of joining two squares and then joining it that way and then giving you a little border. Now that is for the new crocheter who, who did try this blanket and struggled to do that uh, join and that border round. So you are going to get your own join and your own border round, which will be so simple, so, so simple, very simple, okay? You may have a little bit of weaving in on a couple of ends, but that's okay anyway. You know, that's part of it all, isn't it? Weaving in ends are a part of it all. Mary, you should perform a musical special for us. Do you know how bad I sing, Fluffy? Were you listening to that? <laughs> I tell you what, though, can I be honest with you, Fluff? I had thought of doing that for um, last year's Halloween. I was going to do a whole music sing-songy thing but I don't want to use anybody else's music. And to get a hold of my um, Phantom Studios, if you will, my son, to get a hold of Phantom Studios to perform all the music while I sing the lyrics in the background, it's a lot of work to do, yeah? If I had the music separately and sang with the music together, that would be great. But you would still need a proper studio to do that, to try and do it on the editing package doesn't really come out as good. Um, but it'd be worth a try. We did do a play, The Puppet Show. Remember The Puppet Show? Uh, two Halloweens ago, we did The um, Puppet Show with Lance the Vamps and the rest of them. Um, I can't even remember their names. I don't know why I remember Lance the Vamps. It's just, I think he reminds me of the typical Australian vampire. <laughs> His name's Lance, you know, Lance the Vamps. <laughs> It just reminds me of an Australian vampire, you know. Anyway, um, so I was going to do a musical last year and changed it a little bit because I ran out of time. This year, I may consider it. Maybe. Maybe I can even work my way to it earlier and have it all recorded even before we start doing a lot of the crochet. We don't know what we're doing this year for Halloween. I haven't even decided. It's a long way away. Well, not really. What are we on? Next week is April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Ah, oh, six months. Okay. I can be sorted out in three months and then spend three months trying to do the musical. Maybe. But it did cross my mind last year, Fluffs. So there you go. Um, I love weaving in ends. I feel it's so satisfying. I know dark, right? <laughs> oh, Mary, you're so dark. Not me, Mary. You, Mary. I'm dark too, but let's not talk about that. Um, fantastic idea, says Fluffy. Yes. Um, I might send you my one project to weave in all my ends. <laughs> oh, I love it. Look, I tell you what, though. Um, I have to admit, after I weave in a few of the ends, I start getting excited. I get very shaky when I finish uh, a project. You might even notice it when I'm doing tutorials towards the end of a big, big project like that, you'll start to see the hands shake. During the months that we're working on it and the different tutorials that have gone up, it's fine. But towards the end, the hands start to shake. I get so 
excited. And so then I do a lot of weaving off air so you don't see that, <laughs> that bit. <laughs> and I jump up and down like a yo-yo after I finished. I'm, I'm going to have to show you one day, just in the background where I'm working, then all of a sudden I finish something. And you hear me jump up and say, yes, yes. And I used to dance around the room, but I haven't been doing that lately. We used to call it the victory dance every time I finished a project from this little to this big. Whatever it was, I'd be doing a little victory dance, a little dancing around the house with it in my hand. Doesn't matter how big it is. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm trying to find the heart. <laughs> Here we go. I can imagine dancing around the house with this. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Um, and the family are used to it right now. They just sort of like get out the way and watch the TV kind of thing. <laughs> they don't even know what I'm doing half the time. But there you go. So just to let you know, we are having a very busy week, but we will have part 4B, which is the final part, even though you guys have done the final part, but it's a final part of the blanket for the new crocheter. And this can actually make a very pretty um, placemat too, if you're, if you're going to make something like this. Having said that, I didn't do this square in part 4B. I'm just doing the join part. Now, if you want to see this square, you can wait another week and I'll pop it up after Easter. <laughs> it's a little different than the blanket only, but, 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 you do those two rows. Then you do a row of single crochet. Oh, it just reminded me to do the row of single crochet. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I've just reminded myself. You do a row of single crochet in the green and then row of double, and then you do the row of single. There's no turning on some of it. There's only the turning on the one cream. It's a little different than the actual blanket itself. And there's no half across here. You know how we did some halves and then we did some doubles. But this one here, there's no halves. It kind of works out all right. We could have got away with that as well. But it does look a, a tiny wonky this way. So I'd rather keep the uh, blanket the way it was. So um, just to let you know, that's coming up tomorrow. So keep that in mind and it'll make a beautiful little placemat if anybody's interested. Uh, let me know and I'll do the square as well. But tomorrow all I'm doing is joining those pieces for the new crocheter uh, so that they can have their blanket complete. Yeah, and they might like to have it complete before uh, Easter anyway. Mary J says, do it, lol. You reckon, Mary J? I should just do it. Just sing the song. I can't sing. You know that, right? Uh, when I pick up my own short, my own... Try that again my one shawl again uh, I may have to weave in some of the ends I do like to weave them in as I go with certain projects now when it comes to this guy here which the jacket project which we'll talk about in a minute anyway I when I get past this second round I weave in I start weaving in ends right and when I get to this round here I weave in all the ends except the last one I wash and block it with the tail. A lot of people don't. They weave that in. But I wash it, and you're probably better off weaving it in. But I leave it because my final border round, which will be this brown, I crochet over that tail, which you see right there, and then I weave that in as well. But you can do whatever you like. These Everything I do doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do everything set to a T. Like some people say, but I don't like the way you do this. Don't do it. I can do this better than you eh, do that <laughs> that's why I say uh, especially in the Easter project I said if you guys can do a pom-pom better than me by all means do your own pom-pom <laughs> because look at this it's it's a little bit messy I'm just no good at little pom-poms never have been never been good at the big ones too none of them I've never it's not my cup of tea pom-poms I really don't like them them and um and the frills on uh, ponchos and stuff. Don't like them. Don't like them. Uh, when I pick up my own one, you ever done that already? My bias short is driving me crazy with all ends right now. Yes. And the thing with ends, if you don't weave them in properly, one or two washes and they poke themselves out again. <laughs> they pop out all over again. So make sure you really get in and weave those ends. Yeah. Mary, what is the hardest join you mentioned it before and the easiest join in your opinion? Oh, hmm. I admit this one was quite difficult for me. Hardest join. You know, I haven't come across a hard join yet because I I don't know if I've tried all the joins. Yeah. Um, single crochet at top, single crochet 
um, slip stitch. No, I haven't. I don't find that particularly difficult. I only find it time consuming to do a join like this. Not so much difficult. Um, the easiest join you could do is a single crochet across the top, which is the one I'll be doing for that, I think. I haven't thought about it, but probably that one. So that, that happens overnight. I just pick up one of my old things and say, right, that looks good, that looks good, that doesn't, that doesn't. Uh, and the easiest join, in your opinion, the easiest join, I think, is a single crochet. When you put your two pieces together, let's try this. When you put your two pieces together, I've got some yarn, oh, and you just single crochet up the top between each stitch single 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 all the way across cut weave in the ends and then you go across the opposite way so it's got that one there right there yeah i just think the single crochet across is the easiest join yeah and then when you come across you are doing your single crochet to the corner chain one jump into the next corner and single crochet across on the second join not the first one the first one you can just go straight across and then that's it. That is the easiest join. It does have a top stitch look about it. You can, if you don't crochet all one way between each um, section of joins, it can look wrong. Yeah, so you've got to be careful. Um, but I think the most difficult join is something like this where you have the thread under your work. So you're trying to join your pieces together by using the thread underneath. And so when you get to the corner, I actually didn't even think about this when I got to that corner, that on the way back the second time, you have to put the thread under the other side. It was a really awkward, it's an awkward, it wasn't difficult, it was just an awkward join. Um, I hate pom-poms and tassels, that's the one, little tassels, can't stand tassels. They just collapse. Uh, do you prefer to join by crochet or so? Uh Joining by crochet is so much easier. I do like doing it by crochet. Um, and even the joiners you go where you are taking your hook out, popping it into the other side and slip stitching your thread through. I even prefer joining like that than using a sewing needle. The thing with the sewing needle, though, is there's a specific join which they use in the, I don't know, 17th century or whatever it is, um, that it's a like a very tricky join but you can't see how you did it someone uh tried to sell a blanket at the market and someone went up to the blanket and she says to me i can't see your join how did you do it i said well i can't show you that one <laughs> it's a special join right uh and but i can tell you that it's not easy and uh one section from here to here and i'm not kidding take took me about an hour and a half just a little section that is how tricky that join is and you've got to make sure you get into certain stitches and certain areas of the stitch. Um, and that was a fairly tricky join for time-wise. And not so much a difficult join. But if I was to say something would be easier, and the way I like to do them is always by hook. That's the way I like to do them. But I don't always do them like that. It doesn't always suit the job that you're creating at the time. If you're wanting a blanket to go off to someone who wants um a, a more extravagant look then you want to use the proper joints like the fancy joints um yes that one you mentioned before thank you yeah it's a real tricky join um it's a complicated join not a complicated it's oh it's hard to explain it's not difficult it's like it's just time consuming and if you mess it up it will be noticed that you've messed it up and this lady was, she was trying her hardest to find the joint. And I said, you, you're a crocheter, aren't you? She goes, mm-hmm. I said, how long? She goes, 35 years. I can't find the joint. <laughs> and it was hilarious because she couldn't find I eventually showed her. And she goes, that's it? I said, that's it. It looks like the stitch. She goes, I know. It looks exactly like the stitch, like you haven't put the needle through anything. And that's what that joint was like. But it's so difficult and so... Mm. <laughs> Not difficult, time consuming. Keep saying difficult. I think this one is difficult, truly. This this one here took a lot out of me, yeah? <clears throat> I think all joins are complicated. The easiest one so far is what we did with the patchwork jumper. I love that. This is why people said, oh, you know, make the patchworks, make all the squares and then you can sew them together. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> I have no patience for sewing. Um, 
I do like to work. I think this is the, the graph GAN in me, if I could use that word. I do like to work with all my colours across and raise up the yarn. It does make it a lot easier. When you're coming back the other way, you pull it forward. When you go the other way, push it back, whatever. And you don't have to weave in a lot of ends by doing it that way. When I did the Sunshine Bright cardigan, which is what Marty, you know, when Marty did my little mannequin, I'm going to use him. I don't mannequin, doll, um, her. Um, this one here was fantastic. I went across that way over and over and over again. On the way back, I lifted the yarn up in the middle and kept it there and then went across with the light grey, turned, came back and then came back and used the blue there. I did not cut any yarn until I got three quarters of the way when I ran out of yarn and had to add a new colour, new colours. Um, so the back for me was super easy and quick. Bang, turn, bang, up and down. No sewing in of any ends. Do you know how excited I was? <laughs> don't you love it she gets so excited i really do and i found the hat the other day it was under the table it went Phew. oh for those of you who didn't know i dropped the the little mary in the tub <laughs> in head first she went into the tub and the hat went flying oops getting her to stand up is the trick um yes yeah, so i find that join so much easier just like you middle so much easier um, and again, we might do some more projects like that in the future. It is a lot quicker, a lot easier. You are weaving in those two ends up the top, you know, the blue and the grey, right up the top somewhere. And then you may need to weave them again way up the top. Don't worry, all good here. I'm here now. <laughs> oh, Jay, you missed the first half an hour. It was hilarious. I lost the plot. <laughs> I lost the plot. I haven't done that for a while. I've been such a good person. <laughs> no <laughs> I've been a good girl but I did lose the plot a little bit because something did not look right to me it looked like something different <laughs> I don't want to say it because it's going to make me laugh again um so hello Jay <laughs> lovely to have you here uh, so what we've been talking about is how different joins and how to do different joins and how we are going to do a second join for the new crocheter tomorrow with their own little border which will be a very simple border yeah you and me both lost the plot earlier I know we just well, I had tears <laughs> very little ones but they were there and I'm going to have a drink guys cheers everyone <clears throat> all right I did want to mention something I was going to hold it out, and I will hold it out because I don't have it in here with me, but I will talk about it. Uh, on Saturday, just, just passed, I ended up going to a wedding. Not my wedding, just a wedding. <laughs> and I couldn't justify spending a lot of money on a dress. When I had a, a perfect dress in the closet that I only ever wore once, I had a pair of black shoes. I looked really great in it, you know, it was great and everything. But the actual time I wore that dress the top was relatively low and at the time I had the right undergarment if you will to keep it all into place so it looked decent right but when I put it on last Thursday to get it ready to see if it still fit which it did because I'd only ever worn it once those many years ago um, and it still looks gorgeous and I tried it on and I thought oh my gosh look how low that top is like there's a whole lot of stuff showing <laughs> No, no, no. So I did um, what they call, um, what do they call it? A little thing, lace thing around here. Now I'm going to show you this in the video vlog next week because I thought you'd be interested in it, yeah? I thought you'd be interested in seeing one and I thought maybe you'd be interested in making one for something that you have in your closet. And it was so simple to make. I actually didn't realize how easy it was. All I used was single crochets and chains. It was just so easy and it looked a million dollars. People kept saying to me um, at the wedding, wow, that lace work looks amazing. And then I said, well, I made it myself. Yeah. And they said, looks like it was actually made like that on the dress, specifically made for the dress because I don't wear jewelry, as you can see. I don't purchase jewelry. I don't wear it. I don't like it. It's awkward, right? Just I don't like it on me. That's me being fussy. I wear this because it's a Fitbit. 
Thank you very much, Mary. That's it. <laughs> but I don't. You never, ever see me in jewellery. Never, never, never see me, right? Um, so my daughter would say, you should get things, uh, dresses that have things like, like it already has little dimentis or something on it, like looking, you know, they're fake, right? Not real. <laughs> and so I thought, no, no, I'm not into that either. So I thought a nice little lacy project around the neck with picos would make it look like a jewel when really it's only picos. Um, and everybody commented it on how beautiful it looked and how it suited that dress that I wore. And I'm doing that because it's in the other room. And I'm going to show you in the video vlog, um, what do they call them? Oh, they're like little lace things that you attached to the chest area so that, you know, not a lot is showing, <laughs> which a lot was showing and I didn't like it. So I made it specifically for that. Occasionally, um, I didn't think I made it big enough. And in fact, I'm thinking of taking it undone and making it even higher because I made it, well, I can take half of it undone. Um, but the way I've attached it means I'm going to have to take the whole thing off. But anyway, um, I made it like that and it goes all the way around. It's one of those dresses that go like this. I'll show you from far away so you can see. It goes like that, right? So it's really, really low. And I found it too low, right? So I did a lace thing that went like that across the front. And you could still see a little bit of the undergarment, but... I just adjusted it every now and then. So I could have made it even higher so that you couldn't see it. But I loved the way it came out. And I'm going to show you on the video vlog next week. You get to see that. It's really nice. And we might consider doing one of those on the channel. And I think, I don't know if it's here, um, I mentioned that we were going to do that, one of those. Um, yeah, I mentioned we were going to do that. Uh, October stash busting. Da, da, da. Here we go. Um, glamour outfit. Lace collar. Lace collar. There it is. Camisole insert. Yes. Thank you, Raylene. Oh, there was another thing. A vanity, vanity, vanity thing. I don't know. There's, a, there's an actual word for it. Oh, when I find out, I'll let you know. Um, but there is a word for it. Oh, let's go back because I've missed all of the chat. Hello. Um, you and me both lost. Yes. Uh, oh, geez, I was supposed to be green today. Oh, drink milk. <laughs> Thanks, middle. Cheers. Mm. Just got home from picking uh, up the little ones from school. Uh, hello, everyone. Beautiful Lorraine. Hello. Lovely to have you here. Uh, I need that for a few of my tops. Actually, you're going to love it. It's. I thought it was going to be difficult. And I'll tell you exactly quickly how I made it so you get it. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Uh, hi, everyone. What have I missed? You missed me laughing and losing the plot. Uh, Mary laughing over chicken legs. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> camisole insert. Yes, Rayleigh, camisole insert. Um, <laughs> I did lose the plot. I know. I lost, oh, uh, they're called dick ears as well. Yes, they are. Cherry B, but it's a very interesting little thing. Okay, you're not going to believe how I did it. I'll show you exactly how I did it. You'll just laugh at me when you when you see, right? I got a piece of thread, and this is all I did. I went like that, followed the dress all the way around like that. I followed it with a piece of thread. That's all I did, and I went like that, cut it, then got that piece and put it down and crocheted. I don't know, 30, 60, 80, 100. I can't remember how many chains. And measured it up with that, <laughs> loosely, not tight. I probably should have, it might have paid for me to do it a little tiny bit tighter, but I did it loosely. And then I did the single crochets around it, put it on the dress and had a look. The first row, oh, that's all right. The second row, I thought, oh, it's starting to come in, so I might take in a few stitches here. Didn't even count them. Fold it in half like that and then just put some stitch markers there and there. <laughs> I didn't count them. I was a rough job. And I did it the second row I did normal. No, second row I did some more decreases in there. Um, the third row I did normal, just one full round. Um, and I think the fourth row is when I started to do single crochets with the um, picots. Now, I wished I had made two more rounds, rows, if you will, because they go one way, turn and come back. I wished I'd made two more rows because I did find it every now and then <laughs> the undergarment would slip. So I'm like, 
<laughs> like that. So I think next time when I do something like that, I will actually sit down because I didn't sit down. I was standing up in front of a mirror. I thought, oh, this is perfect. But when you sit down, it pulls the dress a little bit. <laughs> it pulls it forward and you end up seeing a little bit. So I had to constantly do that every time I sat down and got up. But whilst walking around, it was fine. But just when I sat down and got up, I was <laughs> constantly doing that. But that's all right. And you live and learn. And I didn't learn that until the actual wedding. So when I put the dress on, uh, it did look a little awkward, but it looked perfect on. But every now and then it was me going like this. It wasn't the dress that was awkward. It was me because I was being paranoid about anything being visual. <laughs> Don't you love it? Um, all right. And here we go. Uh, Yvonne. Hi, Yvonne. Did I say hello? Sorry, hon. I can't remember if I said hello. Uh, we get winter at the thrift store where I work. Yes. And they're easy to make, but you can purchase them cheap. They're not that expensive. But I like to make it because I made it. Um, and Catherine says, I have watch replay start. Sounds very funny. Oh, look, it's just that I thought what I saw wasn't what I saw. <laughs> Everybody else could see it but me. All I could see was the chicken legs. <laughs> That's all I could see. Let's have a drink before I laugh. <laughs> all right. Okay, so <laughs> so I just wanted to let you know, uh, on the video vlog, you'll get a full visual of the actual dress. Uh, may have some people cut out of it because I don't want to put people up on the video vlog. It's a bit unfair on them to have them uh, in my video vlog, especially if they don't want to be there. So you will probably see part of my dress and part of my body, but not all of it. <laughs> don't you love it? But you'll get to see it. In fact, I'll actually have the dress here or here for you to have a look at in the video vlog so you can see what I did maybe we can even do a top down and have a look and uh, maybe not we can probably do our own top down when we're ready to crochet one um, but I'll show you exactly how you can attach one that makes it so simple now with this one here I know with a lot of these things they want them to be attached on the inside so you, you have to split open the dress and pop it in and then sew on top of it like that but with this one here I didn't do that I physically, took me forever, hand sewed it to the dress on top of the dress. And it was hardly noticeable. No, it was notice wasn't even noticeable. Put it that way. Nobody knew it was hand sewn. Nobody noticed it. They all thought that the dress came like that. So wait until you see it on the video vlog. Um, I did mention early on during the year we'd be doing something like that. I didn't realize that something like that the only reason I thought of it was because of us. On the day when I put that dress on, I thought, oh, it's really low cut. There's no way I'm going to wear this at the wedding. No way. And I thought, could I do it? Should I do it? And actually, it was Friday night when I did it, by the time I'd started it. I started at maybe 10 o'clock Friday night, finished the whole thing. Um, the little thing was finished very quickly. But hand sewing it took forever. The whole thing about 11.30ish Friday night. The wedding was Saturday. <laughs> Because I had another dress and thought, oh, it just looks like I'm an old woman in that dress. <laughs> Whereas this one here makes me look young and fresh and even though I'm not fresh, but let's just say it made me look young. So I wore that and I was really pleased that I did that. Uh, like I said, though, next time I would, would have done more rounds and it would have been a lot easier. But that was just, it just perfect. It worked perfect for me. Uh, <laughs> um, I like the ones that attach to the, yes, you can attach it to your undergarment. Yes, you can. I don't want to say the word. <laughs> I don't want to say the word. Um, I've done the same thing to a few things. I've also added to some, uh, to make something longer. Now, that's a good idea too, Jay, something we could actually consider doing in the future adding things to crochet that's already done or even adding it to material, you know, adding some crochet to material to give a bit of lace so it covers your belly or it covers your the back area. We won't go there. <laughs> I've also added to make the, yes, we said that already, yes. Uh, what are you talking about? You're young at 29. <laughs> oh, middle, get in the corner, hun. Get out of the left-hand side. Get in the corner, darling, because that was a good one. I loved it. 
<laughs> Man, I said something fun. <laughs> Good on you, middle. <laughs> Cheers to middle. Mm. All right. Um, also, yesterday, or was it today? Not yesterday. <laughs> Let's try this morning. I put an order through um, with Source of Fibre for some cotton. Now, I could be wrong, but it looks like it's not coming till next Thursday. It's a long way away. I know we've got Easter in between, uh, but I, I, maybe I looked at it wrong when I saw it. But if that's the case, hopefully that comes before the video vlog. and We could talk about it on the video vlog. Um, and I just wanted to let you know that there are five skeins. Oh, what was the name of the colour now? I've forgotten the name. But we'll talk about it when it comes in. There are five skeins of it. It's the one colour. And we are going to make something on the channel with that one colour. I'm looking forward to seeing it come in. I'm looking for, it's like a light green. It looks like that, but very light, like a, a very light, light green, if, it, if that helps. So we're going to make something pretty on the channel. Yay, I keep, I can, I can keep <laughs> Kiki's crown warm. Well, she hasn't been on for a while, middle. I hope she's okay. I should check up on her and make sure she's okay. I haven't seen her on social media either, so I do hope she's okay. I know she works a lot now. It's what happens when you get a job, you got to work. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. we got to work when we get a job. That's what it's all about. Anyway, all right, so there you go. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention also, um, Friday the 5th of April, we are restarting our vest. Keep that date in mind we are restarting the vest and that vest is a vest that's been sitting in a tub for ages i found a few pieces of the pattern <laughs> don't you love it she's got pieces of pattern everywhere it's only because i'm so annoyed with myself because we put floorboards in this room and to clean it up real fast i popped everything in tubs and threw them in another room some of them even ended up in a garage which meant I didn't know which tub was which. And in the old days, what I used to do was write on them uh, open first or tub one out of seven to be opened first, tub two out of seven, tub three out of seven. And I used to do that. But we were in such a hurry to get this room done uh, that I was told, come on, Mary, we don't have time. So I just tossed everything in tubs and, and got rid of the tubs. Some ended up in one room, some ended up in another, and some ended up in the garage, and some ended up in a little tiny shed out the back. Now, we've got them all in the house. We've gone through them all. I found bits of patterns everywhere. <laughs> uh, but they're all, I think it's all sorted now. And all I have to do is sit down and follow my pattern again, <laughs> and we'll be able to finish our vest. Uh, and my apologies on the delay, but that's what happens when things go wrong. We're up to date with everything else, though. Isn't that great? No, no, we're not. <laughs> Let's get back to the, the jacket. Our jacket, we've done our January um, month and our February month. We still haven't completed March month, and March is finishing at the end of this week. So not the first week of April, but the second week of April, we're going to do our March um, piece of the jacket. And then at the end of April, we will do our April piece of the jacket. April piece, April part of the jacket. And again, as you know, it is going to be a monthly project um, until Christmas of this year. If you wanted to uh, get a written pattern of that, keep that idea in mind. I'm getting the pattern tested. So keep that idea in mind. Once that pattern is tested, I will actually um, talk about popping the pattern up on our website and you can actually purchase a written pattern if you don't want to wait till Christmas, which is fine. But the pattern is getting tested and hopefully we can work that out very, very soon to have it on the website. Very exciting. Oh, I thought I'd mention that real quickly because I knew I wanted to talk about the jacket um, and I knew I wanted to get it all tested and ready for at least by July, hopefully a little bit sooner, but at least by July. Um, but I'm not going to put the pressure on my pattern testers. They can just do that when they're ready. Uh, when will we start to join for the jacket? Now, that's another thing, Fluffy. We were going to start that on the last one, which we're going to start on the very next one, which is the March one. Now, we're going to start that join, but I'm going to give you an option of different joins. Now, 
I've done a join as you go on the channel where it's a closed join as you go. See if I can get it right. <coughs> a closed join as you go. Excuse me. Closed join as you go where there's no gaps. You go from one stitch to the other, bring it through one stitch to the other, bring it through. But I think with this jacket, for me, I will show you the closed join and you can do that if you like. That will be one of the joins. I'm going to show you three different joins. Okay. But the one I'm using is exactly the same, but it's going to be an open join. Now I've got something in my eye. I can't seem to get it out. It's like a dinosaur or something, right? <laughs> this is why they're extinct, because they're always in my eye. Um, yeah, don't you love that statement? My dad used to say that to me all the time. He'd say, you've got a dinosaur in your eye. That's what it is. <laughs> Only the weird things you remember. Um, so I'll be doing <laughs> the three. She got so sidetracked. Uh, the three different joins. The second join that I'm doing, which I might show you the join that I'm doing the first one first, and then you can decide whether you want to use that join. But then we'll be doing a third join, and then we'll be second join, and then we'll be doing a third join. So you can decide which one of those three that you can use that won't make too much of a difference for your, like it won't take up too much space or make it shorter or, or wide or whatever. Open join would be good one, um, good, want, won't get overheated well I, I do like the open join for this particular jacket and I do want something a little simple for the new crocheter to do so they're not really stressed out and don't have to wait for everybody else that they can do the join with us and I haven't done the easy join here to be fair I haven't done this easy join which is unusual I thought I'd done this one but I haven't I went straight into the difficult join on top of some single crochet joins and slip stitch joins but I haven't done this easy join. And I thought, why have I not done this? It's such a simple join. Um, and I thought for the jacket, it would be great because it will get everyone doing that simple join and it'll be fast too. So you won't have to say, you know, my other one where I crochet one stitch, lift up the loop, pop the hook in and then pull it through the next loop. And then it's like, it's a little bit longer. It takes a lot of yarn. It's a big yarn eater that way as well. Whereas this one, you're joining from one, um, set of clusters to the next you're not joining through each stitch you're joining from the clusters in between um, and you can decide whether you want that one or you can go straight into the other one which I'll show you as well the difference with that is that it the other one which was the one I did a long time ago that join can be a massive yarn eater oh it was the one we did with the um temperature blanket we did the join that was really tight it was closed join and it was super thick and heavy, and it was also a yarn eater. It just took so much yarn that I had to reorder um, a different color, a different shade, same color, different dye lot. And I was annoyed because I thought I had plenty for the border around, yeah? Uh, joining is my least favorite thing, so it's easy. The, um, so if it's easy, that's good. It will be the easiest join that we have done on the channel, really. Um, because that's why I'm getting you to do it like this, because you'll be needing the first round to join around it. And when you see it, you'll know what I mean. You'll see how simple it is. Um, it is very, very simple. Yeah. But it's one that I don't think I have, I'm pretty sure I have not done on the channel. And I, what am I thinking doing all these difficult joins and not showing you a simple one? Yeah. So it will be a simple join and it's, will still make your uh, jacket look good and it won't be like you say as overheating if you need it a little bit lightweight but also it does keep you warm as well so it's a it's like a oh you know it's a catch-22 you can do it either way but I will give you the other joins eventually but the very first join you see will be the join that we're going to do or the one that I will be using for the actual written pattern version but everything else I show you in between is a little bit extra just for you guys. Don't you love it? YouTube guys, you get it. You get an extra bit. <laughs> I like to give everyone that chance to do whatever it is that they find more comfortable. What I find difficult, you guys might find easy. What I find easy, you guys might find difficult. So you give everybody an option to, to make whatever they want to make. Yeah. Not necessary for you to do exactly the same as me. I say that in pretty much all of my tutorials. I weave in this way, but if you have another way, then by all means do that. Or I crochet like this. If you know another way, do it that way. 
I hold the hook like this. If you know another way, do it that way and etc. Yeah, that's what I usually do. It's a piece of hair. It's going in my eye and it's driving me batty. <laughs> and it's sitting, you know what it is? It's because I'm growing this fringe. This fringe now is about there. See that? I've got about six inches of hairspray. It's right there. That's where it ends. That's where my fringe. Remember my fringe used to be here a few months back? It's right there. See that little piece right there? <laughs> I tuck it under there and I put six inches of hairspray under it. Oh, now I put it in my eyes. <laughs> Don't you love it? Um, you make the harder stitches easy to follow. Look, I try. I like to show everyone difficult things as well as easy because you know what? YouTube is for people who are visual, right? If you're visual, this, like if you think visual, you need to see it to do it, then that's what YouTube's all about. So let's say you did want to use a difficult stitch. And let's say you use a difficult stitch and you think, I don't know why Mary found it difficult. It's fine. So you might think, wow, that difficult stitch was not that difficult. I have to think about that. <laughs> it wasn't that difficult. But for me, that was difficult, but that wasn't. Yeah. So I'm giving you the option to decide, to decide which one you find more difficult or which one you find more easy. And again, I know when I was starting how I would get so frustrated if I couldn't do a stitch and I'd just throw it. But that's me because <laughs> that's who I am. Not everybody's like that. But I don't want people to be like, I don't want anyone to get frustrated with it, which is why I give you an easier version so that you still get to have a beautiful join and a beautiful blanket. It's just a little different than ours. That's all. Basic, 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 basic. Not so basic. I mean, not so basic. <laughs> that join really tried my patience. The minute I got off air, I thought it was easy. I moved the camera out the way and I could work easy. But when the camera was down there and I had this massive blanket to try and keep on top of the table and have the, the thread under, it was just, it was terrible. <laughs> it tried my patience. Uh, but I wanted to show you that join. Maybe it would have been better to have shown you a join with a smaller piece. It would have been easy, easier to manage, easier to hold on the table while we were, you know, creating. It would have been much better. But, you know, that's just first world problems. <laughs> it's first world problems. It shouldn't bother you anyway. There's that angel again ready. Ding! <laughs> See that piece of hair right there? That's the thing that's causing me grief. <laughs> <laughs> she's such a nerd um all right let's have a drink first cheers everyone mm. refill refill my personal trainer will be happy with me today actually i haven't been doing much this week again i do what she gives me i do the activities that she gives me to do but i haven't been doing much in between Oh, it's going to show on Friday if we check in. Um, that's right. I get frustrated, but your teaching makes it easier. Gives me the confidence to try harder things. Oh, fluffs, that's cute. I get frustrated so much. And you guys just don't see it because I don't show you. <laughs> oh, you're going to see it one day. Um, I just realised I got my dates wrong. It's the 9th that I fly to Sydney and 10th I start to um, stick. 10th I start to cruise note uh not next week oh. either way you'll still have fun it doesn't matter when you go you're just going to enjoy it <laughs> you're just going to have way too much fun young lady <laughs> everybody's young now we're no one's old anymore we just keep getting younger you know we feel older my back is sore today <laughs> She's such a nerd. Um, all right, so <laughs> letting you know that I still have all my squares sitting right here. I've done nothing since we last spoke about it two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? A week and a half ago. week and a half? When we last did the tutorial, right? <laughs> the last tutorial went up. I've done nothing since then, so keep that in mind. Mary, are you going to the Crochet Conference in June? Now, I remember you asking me about this last year, Jay. And I'm telling you something, Jay, I hope they don't get upset with me, but I sent them emails to try and get to it and they don't get back to me. 
it's not the first time either. I've done it so many times. I've had no response. So I probably don't think I'll go. <laughs> Are you going, Jay? Are you going? That's supposed to be huge. I think it's a little expensive in different facets of it, right? Um, but I, I'm happy to go if they get back to me. <laughs> they never get back to me. They never do. And to be fair, I couldn't justify the price of going there. Um, I couldn't justify the price of hotels around that time. And last year was in Sydney. This year is in Melbourne. Oh, we don't even need to be in Melbourne to go there. We can just take the train in. Oh, we could do that. I couldn't get it last year. They just wouldn't get back to me. I emailed them twice. I got nothing. <laughs> Um, are you going, Jay, this year? If you go, I'll go. But it's just, I couldn't justify it last year. It was just the costs were astronomical. <laughs> I think the cost was a lot. You had to book the hotel. You had to pay for certain things. Um, yeah, I know. I tried, Jay. I really did. I don't know who else to try. Um, I went on their website and it said, contact us if you're interested. And I contacted. Someone sent me an email said, well, when we get the tickets ready, we'll get back to you. Nothing. i got nothing. Uh, I've been trying for a month to get a hold of my issues. Yes. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Are you? I don't know, Jay. really don't know. The bonus for me is I'm not far from a train station. So I can walk to the train station, catch the train, get in, do the event, catch the train back home. And it's not an issue. Um, but if you go, you'll have to book a hotel or something. Am I correct in saying that? Because you're not from Melbourne, I believe. Um, I don't know. I might try this year. I saw the conference come up the other day on uh, one of the social medias, whether it was Facebook or something. I can't remember what it was. But getting a response from anyone last year, it kind of annoyed me a little bit. I know I shouldn't have got agitated, but I thought I'm willing to pay. <laughs> to come. But I wasn't getting the response that I need. I must admit... I did message them a little earlier. Uh, now that they're already all over the um, Facebook page, maybe I could probably message again and see what happens this year. I don't know. I'd like to go. I really would. Um, but I, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, last year, I think it was a Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I'm, am I correct in saying that? I believe it was three days worth. Um, I could be wrong. I'll tell you what, though, there's a lot of, Facebook pictures and videos on Instagram. I'm thinking, and I'm missing it because no one will get back to me. <laughs> I was a bit sad. I was a bit sad, but not completely because I didn't know if I could justify spending a lot of money to go somewhere where I don't know if I really needed it. Oh, it sounds terrible. <laughs> it would have been fun. It really would have been fun, you know, hang out with a whole lot of other crocheters, our chew and knitters. <laughs> and you know to speak to um some professionals and some non-professionals it would have been fun to go i think but you know we have a conference by the way for those of you who are not from melbourne or australia in general we have a conference once a year um it's a crochet conference so um they have you know like i don't know i don't know because i've never been <laughs> I've seen them. Uh, I've got a second grandbaby birthday on the 1st of July. Oh, it's in July, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I'll think about it, Jay. I wonder why they're doing it in Melbourne this year. I wonder what happened. Didn't they get a big response in Sydney? <laughs> or are they just doing their travels? Maybe they'll do it somewhere else next year. I don't know. Look, if anyone is from the conference and is watching our show, contact me because I struggled to get a response. Uh, I think I should head off, ha have to work in a few hours. Oh, middle. Oh, no. You better go and take a break before work. Have a bit of a rest or get yourself all ready for work. Oh, you yeah, better do that. Um, yeah, so I don't know, Jay. Um, I I'll keep you informed. Maybe I will. If I can get a response, if I email them and I get a response, maybe I will. I, I can't guarantee it. Uh, it's the Australian Crochet Guild. Uh, they're moving around the country. Look, I'm happy for them to, you know, to be a part of it all, but I don't, I don't think they want me. <laughs> um, have a good day, everyone. We'll see you on Saturday. Yes, yeah, see you on Saturday, Saturday middle. We are doing live antics Saturday, so don't forget about that. It's very exciting. I better get the hat ready. Oh, here it is. 
Oh, look, I still have the um, names in there. <laughs> Not all of them, but some of them. Yeah. So we'll be doing live antics on Saturday, which is good. June 27, 29, uh, 2024. Uh, Tracy something centre. Uh, the Avenue Parkville, Victoria. So it's not exactly in the city. Well, it is. It's a bit further out, but um, not far out, just a little bit out. Um, you're still here. Hi, Yvonne. <laughs> I'm so glad you're still here. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Look, Jay, I'll leave it with me. I'll think about it. If I can get a hold of someone from the Crochet Guild and they speak to me about it, then sure. Oh, yeah, don't forget to have a happy birthday middle with the cakes and, and the chicken legs. <laughs> of the chicken legs um <laughs> they look like chicken legs <laughs> they do they look like chicken legs <laughs> no i've never noticed it before maybe the last time you had the champagne glasses up i thought i saw champagne glasses but this time i think i see chicken legs. i need glasses <laughs> where are my glasses <laughs> I see chicken legs. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so Jay, I will let you know, hun, if I do decide to go. If I can get a hold of someone, then I'll go. Uh, but last year was a bit of a sad case, I think. I'd love to go. I have to work out accessibility issues. Mm, yeah, I don't – look, don't guarantee it for me, Jay, this year. I really – I would love to. Um, if I can get a response <laughs> – if they're watching and thinking, what are you talking about? We never got a message. But I did. I sent two. And the first one, I got a response saying, we'll get someone to message you when the tickets are available. And then the second one I messaged and said, has anyone got the tickets available yet? Nothing. I got nothing. So I don't know. I don't know what is going on. <laughs> I might try it again. I mean, you know, it might have been a mishap. Maybe my email went missing. Maybe, I don't know. Who knows what could have happened? Maybe they it went to their spam. Who knows? I don't know. But I did email them twice. Uh, you're mad not to go when it's in Melbourne. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, crazy poppy lady. Hi. Uh, just in ads uh, be there soon. Just in ads be there soon. Yeah, that's all right, hon. We're here. Having said that, we're not going to be here too long. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here online a very long time. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll see. Look, I'll, I'll play it by ear, um, Jay, over the next week or so. If I get a response, I'll message him. If I get a response, I get a response. If I don't, well, we'll talk, not on the phone. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> like this. No, you can. We've spoken before on the phone. Um, that's only because of uh, Bendigo, but we can talk. <laughs> message me first don't ring <laughs> you know what it is if i don't know the number i don't respond um and if they want to leave a message for me to ring them back they that i will uh and half the times during the day the the actual um i literally don't answer the phone during the day because i'm working so that's one thing okay looking like i'm watching the replay in a bit oh my gosh if you see the replay don't laugh <laughs> don't laugh about the cruise ship and the cruise ship pictures and the other pictures because i said i thought they were something totally different don't laugh at me um all right so jay i will think about it hun i'll, I'll try again um are you part of the crochet uh, guild are you a member of them jay are you a member of the guild or do you just ring up and book them you are a member of the guild okay so you pay membership i don't think i'm a member that's probably one reason why <laughs> but i was happy to become a member it's not that expensive yeah uh sounds like i need a nick a uh, nanny nap <laughs> oh, to nick a nanny nap to nick a nanny nap that's a cute way of saying you want to sleep <laughs> oh that's cute um <laughs> what fluffy said chicken legs <laughs> look i'm telling you those glasses the champagne glasses look like chicken legs i'm not 
the only one who saw that. Someone else saw that too. <laughs> I think it was Karen. Karen and I must have chicken legs on the brain. Maybe we're hungry, Karen. <laughs> we're probably hungry. <laughs> that was funny. Um, you should work out if you could be here for the conference. Oh, she's, oh, that would be tough for her because she's been here over Christmas. She's been here over just before Easter because she had to. And conference has three times in one year. Oh, it's a big trip for her. Would you do it again? Maybe. 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 <laughs> Um, but you know it's funny because last year I wasn't I was under the impression they've always done the conference in the Sydney for three years in a row, every second year, they've always done it in Sydney. Why they decided to do it in Melbourne this year is beyond me. Yeah, I didn't know they would. If I knew they were going to do it in Melbourne, I would have kept pushing for emails and said, What's going on? Why am I not getting a response? Maybe I should see if I can ring someone. <laughs> And so last year I tried to get a hold of someone and I can't because no one's responding. <laughs> no one's responding. Uh, I've been to the UK four times in a year. Oh, wow. Wow. Not only about can't you afford it, but gee, the travel time. Oof. Water time is fluffy. Water time. Cheers, everyone. Mm. I tell you what I will do, though. I'll show you the Easter bags again. The little Easter bags, one ear up, one ear down. I don't know what I did, but there you go. <laughs> The same with this guy here. Oh, this guy's got some weird ears. That I actually, when I did this one, this is why I did this one. Because when I did this one, I crocheted the chains up and then went down that way. And it kind of pulled a little bit. I really didn't like one went one way, one went the other, and I didn't really like it. So I thought, let's do it the other way where you make the ears and then you attach them on the inside. I like the idea of that. I think if the single crochet round wasn't on it, it would be a little bit more straight, I think. I think. I'm guessing. Uh, we, pan, we plan to come over every 18 months, but as the outlaws are a bit um, decrepit now, so this tip's uh, no holiday. This trip is no holiday. No, that's right. It's hard work for you, isn't it, hun? You have to do lots of hard work when, this, um, when, it get, when they get to that stage. Oh, I don't look forward to when I get to that stage. I'm going to be such a nag. <laughs> oh, where's my shoes? Oh, my God, my slippers. Where's my coffee? Where's my water? Da -da -da -da. I'd be such a whinger. <laughs> and I'd use that voice too. Oh, <laughs> I would. Uh, they make me. <laughs> what do you mean make it? I'm already mental. I'm in trouble then. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I will consider it this year, Jay. I will. If they're in Melbourne, I might consider it. And it's an easy trip for me too because all I have to do is take a train into the city. Um, and then, you know, if it's really far out, I can catch a tram to Parkville. But Parkville's really not that far from the city. It's really quite close, yeah? So I will see. I will see. If I can get a hold of someone <laughs> or maybe I should just become a member first and then see if they message me back <laughs> after I'm a member. I was going to become a member at the time because I thought I'd become a member and that way it'll be easier for me, but no, it never got back to me. <laughs> I waited and waited. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> anyway, never mind. Um, it's hard, but cherish the time. Look, I admit that. I have said that to myself all the time. Um, don't not miss opportunities for that because one day that opportunity will be gone so yeah i get it um there's happy mental then smack your head in the brick wall mental <laughs> i'm nearly the second option i i get that way just living natural living let alone being older and being a whinger <laughs> i've already doo, 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 hit my head against a brick wall all the time also, Jay, heads up, uh, I did send you that little square to practice. I don't know, have you had a chance to have a play with that pattern at all that I sent you, the little pattern? Let me know, Jay, if you've had a chance to play. Crazy poppy lady, you need a drink. <laughs> What's in chicken wax? <laughs> That's not a drink.
that's chicken legs. They're chicken legs. They are. They are chicken legs. <laughs> I'm just looking at the back thinking, oh, is that Karen Cakes? That's a lot of Karen Cakes back there. We may have to do something after Easter with the Karen Cakes. Uh, the conference was in Rockhampton first year, Sydney last year, Melbourne this year, and we'll end up in Perth if, we, if we're if we lucky. Ooh, I wouldn't mind trying to check out Perth. <laughs> I have never, you know what? I've never been to Sydney. Uh, I've never been to Perth. Never been to Adelaide. What else? I think I've been to the others. Let me think about it. <laughs> I've never been to Tassie. Oh, no, we were with Tassie with the, the cruise ship, but we were on and off so fast, I don't even remember it. Uh, I will be on it when I get home. I'm I'm duty driver while I'm here. On it. I will be on it. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> the lovely drinks. You'll be on the lovely drinks. I've got fluff flying everywhere for some reason. Woo. Um, so much dust. I haven't even touched it. Oh, yes, I touched the squares. And the Easter Bunny. Lots of dust in this room. It collects very easy in this room. I'm forever dusting, but it doesn't clean. It's just because of the bags of yarn. It's just so much of it. Um, but anyway, she says that she's thinking, why have I got so much? Um, <laughs> yeah, it'd be interesting to see where the conference will be. Jay, have you tried the little square that I sent you? The little gauge swatch that I sent you? Uh, let me know if you have. Uh, knocking back uh, the naughty drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I'm going to have a drink too, real quickly. Mm. Be interested to see if you've tried that square. I should have messaged you, and I haven't had an opportunity because if you have, I hope to have that pattern ready for you after Easter and you can actually start to do the testing for me if you have um, tried the square. You know the swatch I'm talking about, the little gauge swatch I sent you? I sent you just a small swatch so that you can have a practice of the stitch. Um, and once the um, pattern is ready, it'll be so simple because it's just a repeat. Yes, got the gauge the first time I've dyed my own wool. Ah, oh, you got the gauge first time. Way to go you. <laughs> Most people don't because people know um, everybody crochets differently and I'm fairly tight with crocheting. So very interesting you got it the first time. I'm very impressed. <laughs> I'm very impressed. All right, well, by the end of Easter, I, that should be ready to test. Once you test that for me, I'll see if I can grab um, a couple of smaller sizes to test it. And then we're ready to go. It's very exciting. The smaller sizes, they'll get through their pieces very quickly. <laughs> very, very quickly. It's a very pretty pattern. I think it would have looked a lot better in a four ply now that I come to think of it uh, a very lightweight four ply thread uh, not so much thread but yarn uh, I can't wait I'm looking forward to it yes I know um, I'm starting to think it would have looked better that pattern would have looked better in a four ply uh, but it doesn't matter because it still looks nice and and because I'm creating because I'm going to uh, an evening out in uh, July, I'll probably want something warm to cover me uh, whilst wearing a, a light waist, try it again, a light weight dress. And that will go over that. And it'll actually complement the dress too, I think. Uh, like the one we got in Bendigo, Mary. Mm. No. I had to think about that. No, we got 10 ply in Bendigo. You're thinking four weight yarn, which is a 10 ply here in Australia, right? Uh, a four ply is a two weight yarn, a very light weight yarn, which um, is, to, in my opinion, sits nice and soft when you're making garments and actually does look a little better. Just takes longer because the thread is thinner and you just crochet forever <laughs> and I don't mind crocheting forever so long as I know that the yarn is durable will last a long time has comfort it's got to have all the top top notch <laughs> everything for me to use a four ply now I tried using a four ply cotton 
in the past I made a beautiful granny square blouse top thing that you guys have actually seen in the past um but it actually stretches after a while and literally not that long I think I wore it three or four times and it just kept stretching and stretching and stretching and I thought yeah I don't think I like that I want to create recreate that little vest again using a better thread and that's why I decided to try someone else's cotton uh, which is source of fiber we'll see how hers goes uh, she only has the eight ply cotton at the moment or it's close to the eight ply it's close to decay it does say that you can use a four between a four and a five millimeter hook so it may also come across as a, a thicker eight ply not really sure because I haven't used it yet when it comes in we'll talk about it um, but I am looking for a four ply cotton that's durable but is strong enough to stay together without stretching after you've create, created something but also soft enough to wear yeah uh bellevue park are having their open day 20th of april 2024 come to canberra and stay with me oh yeah yeah sure come to canberra <laughs> what day did you say the 20th of april Ooh. why does that area ring a bell i think 26 27 rings a bell for me let me think about it and let you know something around that time in april rings a bell that i have to do something crochet related um i'll keep it in mind 20th of april yeah stay with you huh oh well we'll see <laughs> i'll let you know hun <laughs> i'll let you know here cheers Mm. all right okay let's get back to everything again i'm just going to give everyone a quick rough outline of what's happening over the next week or so uh and then i'm going to head off because i've been on a very long time <laughs> we can still keep talking if you like um oh joe no fair uh i will be back in the uk i will would have happily slept in your bath <laughs> that's hilarious um all right so um i'm thinking where am i we're on uh, wednesday the 27th i had to look at the date because i'm completely lost wednesday the 27th is the live tomorrow thursday the 28th you are getting 4b the last part the very very last part of the blanket which that blanket right there which will be doing the easier version for the new crocheter uh, Friday is Easter Friday, so you don't get anything. Saturday, we'll be doing our live, and we are doing live antics in that live. Get excited. That's considering there's no um, connection issues because I find Saturday mornings an absolute pit to try and get on. <laughs> but I think we should be okay. We'll try. And if there's any Easter issues, I will leave you a message saying, you know, no live today because of. But it's most likely I'll be here. So that's okay. Easter Monday, nothing, obviously, because it's Easter Monday. People will be coming and going. I won't be able to do anything. Uh, on Tuesday, I'm actually doing pattern writing day. I need to catch up on my pattern writing. I've gone behind in that. <laughs> I won't go there. Uh, Wednesday, we'll be doing the live again. Thursday, next Thursday, the 4th of April, we are having a video vlog really important video vlog that one must see and on friday the 5th of april we are restarting our vest finally <laughs> restarting our vest all right so thank you very much for joining us guys don't forget to watch us tomorrow to get part 4b the very very final part of our blanket putting our squares together and doing a border for the easier um version if you will thank you very much for joining us my name is mary this is well crochet designs and i will see everyone saturday okay otherwise you'll just get the tutorials as you go ciao for now yeah. try to be good yeah bye <laughs>